Alrighty. Well, apparently it's a little too dark in the in this room. You cannot even see me. The little thing is just dark. Uh, but okay, I'm still here. Curtis Robinson, and I am operating Reaper here. I did the respec and did not like what happened. Uh, so if you look at my status, I put some points into faith so I could use a couple of other abilities. Um, other weapons, I should say. It went poorly. So here's what I found out. First and foremost, this... Uh, weapon, the Grafted Dragon, which is the, one of the things I really, really wanted to, to work with, uh, is not a two-handed weapon. So you might notice that I can click that and have claws on both hands, right? That's pretty cool, right? And I click this, and I don't have two dragons on. It's just a one-handed weapon, that's all it is. It's just one-handed. Oh, man. So... I will say, in spite of that, the AOE function is pretty good on this weapon. So if you get amongst the crowd and you do your L3, pretty cool. And again, you can pretty much kill everybody in an area, which is pretty cool. doesn't kill really everybody, but it kills a pretty good group. It's a little unpredictable. I did not find it to be awesome. <sighs> Aside from that, it doesn't... The uh, weapons... Oops. The weapons don't fight the same way that the claws do. So I had my heart set on kind of a better thing. It was going to be like the claws, but just better. That's kind of what I thought it was going to be. And it really wasn't. So, taking my anger off out on this guy. Smacking people here. All right. So, let's dismount. As you may note, I get the two weapons, and I'm just going to cut through this guy. Watch. He just can't do anything about it. I just cut through them. Now this is not leveled up, it's not level eight. But when I punch this guy, it just, so, it's just not the same, it's not what I wanted. And it doesn't do, it does 66 damage, it's just weak. You know what I'm saying? So I thought to myself, you know what I'll do? <clears throat> I will put the claw in this hand, right? And if the claw is in that hand, I'll have a claw weapon or a, you know, a fist weapon on each side. See, I got one on each hand and I'd be able to hit with both and I don't. It's still just one. It's one or the other. And I push the R2. It's a big punch. It's just whatever. So disappointed. All right. That being the case, we're going to... Just go and torment these uh, trolls because I'm angry. And then we're going to have to just do a switch. We're going to have to do something different. I've got to go and find a... Uh, i got to go find a uh, larval tier and respect back at Renala. Get back to what I'm good at. I think the dexterity, strength dexterity bone, uh, build is the one for me. The strength dexterity build is going to enable me to use the Nagakiba and the claws the way I want to. It doesn't have the super cool AOE, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm not a faith-based guy, faith-based build, so, you know, I probably should not waste the points in faith. There are a couple of other cool weapons. The, Aosh, the Regalia of Aoshad is kind of another weapon that I wanted to play with, but it required a lot of arcane. I didn't have the points to put into arcane, so I did not get it. Besides, I played with it a little bit. It's cool, but it's not my favorite. Nothing is better in the game for me than the Nagakiba, which I really, really like. So it is what it is, and I'm just, you know, sitting here crying in my soup. It's just a thing. Okay, 
So here's what we're doing. I'm going to put this back here. And I'm going to go get, <clears throat> go get another, uh, another larval tier. There's one not far from here. My son Caleb tells me he's like the Elden Ring master. I'm kind of just the guru. The, I'm the strategist, and he is definitely, you know, he's super smart when it comes to this game. Dude knows everything about <clears throat> Elden Ring, and he's kicking butt on it. He's way ahead of me, by the way, in the uh, in the game. He said that these guys, like the guy with the torch, but there's a guy over here that we're going to go look for, and we're going to smack him, and he's going to turn into a bear. Not just any bear. He's going to turn into a rune bear. And the rune bear is super difficult to fight. So that's going to be a lot of fun, first of all. I do know that the rune bear not only is difficult to kill, but he leaves his belly kind of exposed. So if I can get under him with the claws, I should be able to kick his butt. That's my plan, at least. So, you know, I guess we could just hack every guy that looks like that until we find him. Sorry about that. It would be helpful if I could at least hit the guy. All right. Uh, but my thinking is, he said he's over here somewhere, and if he's not over here, he might very well be... somewhere over here. Seems like you said he's on a little bit of an elevated area. Ah, I bet that's him. Or nope, I bet it's one of these guys. Alright, now first and foremost, there is no safe place the room bear can get me from freaking anywhere. There's going to be no safe haven from this guy. So, I'm going to immediately, I'm thinking I need to be on the inside. Oh, man, I don't have, I've got the flames on this. Ooh, I can try this weapon. It may or may not work. I wanted to use these, but I want the flames on them for it to do more damage. And the chain attacks will help me. Guard counters I don't need. Charge attacks when we doing those. Uh, spear. I don't need to do spells. <sighs> We're gonna die in. I don't need to do that. All right. Crucible not reduces damage from headshots. <laughs> I don't know by how much, but it is what it is. Um, Using FP. All right. Don't have the one I was looking for. I've got another one I, I thought I bought. It looks just like this, does a little bit of extra hit points. Um, don't want to increase my damage taken, that's for sure. Him try to sneak up on me. All right. So if it is this guy and I smack this guy, I probably, I probably want to be. All right. I'm just gonna get mangled no matter what. But it'll be pretty cool. It'll be fine. All right. Um, I don't. Let's go ahead and do this. I won't have time later. Let's do this. Was not the one. Maybe it's this guy. My stupid guys are not coming. All right, it might be this guy. 
Yep. Okay. I gotta get under him and stay on him. Stay under him. by the freaking other guy. That sucks balls, I should have cleared it. Got him. Got my level tier, that's what I came for. And this guy is really pissing me off. You know what you're getting? You're getting double claws. Double claws! You can't resist. You can't resist the double claws either. All right, I totally killed him. Got the low larval tear. Fought the rune bear. And my stupid <laughs> arrow guys, my marionettes, that they didn't do crap for me. Bucket heads. Not bad. Let's get back on the horse. We're going to go back to Renala. And we're going to respec. So guys, again, I... In one of my... In my last video before this one, I was talking about doing the respec. I went through a whole lot of... Be careful what you choose. You know, make sure you are careful. You weigh it carefully. You make good choices. Blah, 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 blah. And I made bad choices. It's okay. There's not an endless amount of larval tears here easily, but there are some in other places. You can get more. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go back to... Oh, Stormville. Gosh, I'm in the wrong, totally the wrong area. Here we go. There's Renala right there. Go to Renala, we're gonna respect this whole thing and I'm gonna do something different. Alright. So we know what we don't want. We don't I don't want faith. Don't need faith. The whole thing with faith is not what I want. It's not who I typically am and how I fight. So let's talk here to Renala. Is it time? Let's do rebirth. This is my second Marvel tier. No. Kind of a waste. Alright. You guys sticking with me? So, all right, I am gonna need a little bit of light here. That's not too bad. So I can read everything. All right, I made some notes. And we're going to definitely want, you start off with the weapon that you want most. The Naga Kiba is 18 strengths and 22 decks. Let's start there. 18 and 22. Gotta have that. All right, 18 strength, 22 dex. That's the one I definitely want. The uh, That's enough, by the way, for the claws as well. So the Reduvia dagger requires another 15 arc. I'm not going to do that. The Regalia is 15, 18, and 15 arc, or 12, 18, and 15. I'm not going to do the Regalia great sword. His strength, if I wanted to do that. All right. I'm not doing the Magma Greatsword. Don't like it. All right. For Clinging Bone, which is a different fist weapon, it's going to be 16 Arcane. All right. What? Well, makes everything pretty simple. I'm not going to put points in the Arcane. I'm not putting points into Faith. I'm not going to do that. Uh, what I am going to do is I like Vigor. So let's blast this thing up. To 32. Uh, mind. Let's do this. Let's get that up to 18. Alright. And if I'm a true Dexterity build, 
I think that I needed uh, Nagakiba, I think, is a dex weapon. You're going to just double check this super quick. I'm pretty sure that the Nagakiba is a dex weapon. So it says right here, Infextra Life, uh, that scaling is D for strength and C for dex. So if you really want to have a serious, you know, dex character, you pump this up. You definitely want more dexterity. All right, so my vigor is pretty good. I've got plenty of points left. Um, I do want to cast a couple of spells. We'll get that up. Endurance is pretty important. Let's get that up. Where is my poise? Poise is 51. I wonder what's affecting that. Nothing is affecting poise. The only thing that affects poise is the armor you're wearing, I guess. Okay, so <clears throat> with better endurance, I'm going to be able to wear heavier armor. That's pretty important. And uh, vigor is pretty important to me, too. I don't want to get wrecked. So put two more points into that so I can use arc. I believe that's right. Double check. say best. Arc spells. Arc spell. All right. I think it's 13. Quintstone arc. Yep, that's 13 intelligence. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of intelligence in that because I, I just want to be able to use it. It's a good spell. It is handy. I don't need any faith. That is <laughs> crap. Arcane. <laughs> Don't want it. Dexterity, strength. Certain weapons are going to require a little bit of strength. Do I have any other strength that I really want to go for? All right. And last but not least, let's go back and let's take a peek at hooked claws. Now there are better claws out there, I'll tell you, but I've had a lot of fun with these and I've already pumped a lot into them, so uh, they, yep, they are also a dex weapon, C rating. So instead of really pumping up strength, let's see, I got plenty of vigor. I got, let's see, This enables me to cast more spells, which includes my, um, I don't use a whole lot of the special ability, but eh, let's do 15. Endurance, I've pumped that up a little bit. Strength is good. Intelligence is good. Faith, I don't need. And we're going to dex this thing out. 29 dex. My FP went up to 95. I really wish I could do a uh, little bit higher so I could use a, a different, let's see. I need one more point from somewhere. Have it not to take it out of dexterity if I want it. 
uh, or endurance. I'll keep filling decks. There, I'm at 105. I can use with all the headless. It's pretty cool. So my hit points are pretty high at 32. My FP is pretty high. Stamina is really good. And of course, I am really pumped for dex. This is going to be a strong dex build. I've made some choices. I'm stuck with these choices now. Boom yow. All right. And now we go play and see how things go. By the way, I do want to get my poise up. That's this. Uh, if you look at what poise is, my poise is 51. It keeps you from getting knocked down. And if you are good in poise, you can really hammer people at close range. And I had a lot of fun doing that with these claws. So I'm thinking that I might kind of do that. Alrighty. Guys, that's all I got for you at this moment. I'm going to do a little teleport back to my home base by Sorceress Selen, who I really like because <clears throat> I can run out and farm trolls right by her place. All right. Guys, please like and share on your social media accounts. Be sure to subscribe to this account so that you guys can help me out. And then click the notifications. That helps you out so you know when I'm posting new stuff. If you have questions or comments or you really want me to do something for you, show you a different build or maybe do a different weapon uh, um, review for you, um, just let me know in the comments. That is really important. I will catch you guys again. Take care.